Welcome to our CC3D series. Now this series has been on the channel for a little while now and there's a couple of things that happened in the middle of 2015 that I just want to draw your attention to before you watch the rest of the series. Now the series itself is laid out so that the first couple of videos will show you how to set up a CC3D and get it all flying and then further on in the series we do things like uh, quick tips about mounting the board sideways, troubleshooting arming problems and then we do things like add Bluetooth, GPS, on-screen displays, uh, putting clean flight on there, loads of things within the series. The point I want to make here is that unfortunately the software that we use in some of these videos is called OpenPilot is really no longer being developed. In July 2015 that software kind of went end of life. Now there are a couple of projects that picked up that technology that are available that I'd recommend you use instead. Now you can still get hold of OpenPilot if you really want to. If you go to openpilot.org at slash download, you can still download OpenPilot. It's the files are still available here. And for those of you that really want to continue with OpenPilot, this is still an option. The thing I would say about this though is some of the additional files and the forums that used to support this software are no longer available as the kind of the funding kind of ran out and the bills weren't being paid, so this is closed down. When you go and watch the rest of these videos, from now on, if you hear us talking about OpenPilot, I would recommend that you look at something like LibrePilot. Now, LibrePilot carried on from OpenPilot. You can find LibrePilot at LibrePilot.org. And if you download this instead, it looks, feels, smells, and works exactly like OpenPilot, but it's a live project that's actually being developed. And everything that we could do in OpenPilot, you can do in LibrePilot. It's a much more stable release, and it's something that I'd recommend that you use from now on. So in summary, welcome to the series. Please carry on and enjoy it. The CC3D with LibrePilot is a fantastic solution, and we still fly on a lot of our quads here. And don't forget, you can download OpenPilot if you really want to and continue with that. But if you're watching the series, I'd say whenever we're talking about OpenPilot, from now on, I'd use LibrePilot. The interface is exactly the same as the ones we're showing in the videos, but it's one you can get support for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.